You are an esteemed academic and professor and thinker, and you didn't need to write The Case Against Reality, but you chose to, and we'd like to know why. What do you feel people are missing? Well, there is an interesting revolution happening in science right now. It's, it's quite stunning. The assumption that space and time are fundamental, or, or their combination space-time is fundamental, has a very valuable and useful foundational idea for many, many decades, centuries, actually. High-energy theoretical physicists, though, have realized that space-time cannot be fundamental. It falls apart at the Planck scale. So we know exactly where it ceases to make sense. It doesn't make sense at 10 to the minus 33 centimeters and 10 to the minus 43 seconds. So it's not that, you know, some cognitive scientist is saying we need to think out of the box. I'm just listening to what the physicists are saying, the high energy theoretical physicists, and they're saying we need to find a new framework that's outside of space-time. And they're, they're going after it, right? There's the European Research Council has a 10 million euro uh, initiative um, uh, on these positive geometries beyond space-time that the physicists are, are now studying. So it's not like some maverick cognitive scientist is the first to say, hey, you know, it's over for space-time. No, I'm cheering on what the high-energy theoretical physicists have, have been saying for quite a while. But I'm saying, you know, we need to look outside of physical categories, perhaps, now. Space-time kinds of categories, and that's hard to do. I mean, this is requiring real big leaps.